Okay, so we have question 11. It says in the circuit diagram below, the reading on voltmeter V1 is 12 volts and the reading on ammeter A1 is 2 amperes. Now 11.1 says calculate the total resistance of the circuit. Now looking at this diagram here, we can see that the 6 ohm resistor and the 3 ohm resistor connected in parallel and only this 4 ohm resistor is connected in series. Now in order to calculate the total resistance, we'd have to have the effective resistance of the parallel uh, resistors and then add it to the series. Now let's go about that one. We have 1 over RP for the ones that are connected in parallel 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 so here we have 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 now having to calculate this one um, the 1 over rp here will give us 1 over 2 but then remember we are not looking for 1 over rp we are looking for rp so what we're gonna do here is inverse this so take the the denominator make it a numerator and the numerator denominator so if we invest this one we end up with rp is equals to 2 ohms right since here you're gonna have rp over 1 which is rp and then here 2 over 1 is equals to 2 um, ohms right then to, to calculate the total resistance, we say the resistance of the parallel and the resistance of the series. That's 2 ohms plus 4 ohms. So in total, we have 6 ohms. Awesome. Now, 11.1.2 says calculate the reading on V2. Now, let's look for V2. We can see that V2 is connected in parallel to this 4 ohm resistor meaning this is reading the potential difference or the voltage of the 4 ohm resistor and the 4 ohm resistor we can see that it is the one that is connected in series if this is connected in series we know that the the current stays the same throughout a series connected a uh, resistor so if we have these two amperes here for a1 we know that this 4 ohm resistor here also reads a current of 2 amperes since we know for the uh, for the components that are connected in series the current is always the same throughout now from this one we can see that we have the resistance and then we have the current which means we can now calculate the voltage here now let's go to that one so calculating that Let's start with the formula R is equal to V over I and then we can just manipulate that formula so that we calculate our V2. So that's going to give us I times R. So the current flowing in the 4 ohm resistor is 2 amperes and then what is the resistance? That's 4 ohms. So what is 2 multiplied by 4? That's 8 volts. So the reading on V2 is equal to 8 volts. Now 11.1.3 says calculate the reading on A2. Calculate the reading on A2 and as we can see here the A2 is connected in series to this 6 ohm resistor here which we said it is connected in parallel. Now what do we know about parallel resistors? We know that in parallel when we connect our resistors in parallel they will have the same voltage. Since we know um, for the one that is connected in parallel the voltage is the same throughout. But remember here we've already found that V2 reads 8 volts. Now the total voltage is here. This is the voltage that is being uh, uh, the, this is the voltmeter that reads the whole um, EMF because it is connected straight to the battery here. So if we have 8 volts here, we know that the voltage that has to flow here in the parallel connection is 4 volts. So having that from 12 minus 8, it will give us 4 volts. So the, the, the voltage that flows in the parallel connection resistors is 4 volts, meaning it's 4 volts here in this 6 ohm resistor and also 4 volts here. Why? Because when our resistors are connected in parallel, we say the voltage is the same 
throw out so having to calculate a2 from this here we can see that this we, we have the resistance 6 ohms and then we have the voltage 4 volts so that means we can calculate the current so again we start with our formula r is equals to v over i and then we can rearrange it to calculate i this is i is equals to v over r now our voltage we found that it is 4 and then we can just indicate how we got that 4 here we said the v total is equal to the voltage of the parallel and the voltage of the series we have the voltage of the total is 12 we don't have the voltage of the parallel but the voltage of the series was 8 now to find the voltage of the parallel is 12 minus 8 and then vp is 4 volt this is the 4 volts that we substituted here and then our resistance there is 6 so the current that flows in the 6 ohm resistor is 0 0.67 amperes so that means that's the reading on a2 the reading on a2 is 0 0.67 amperes now 11.1.4 says calculate the amount of charge that flows through the ammeter a1 in 120 seconds so we want uh, the amount of charge that flows in a1 in 120 seconds but remember for here in order to calculate a1 a1 we already have the two amperes here and then we are given that it's 120 to calculate the charge we know that we have a formula that goes current is equal to q over change in t so in order to calculate the charge the charge is the q here so we are looking for this value so we can just say q is equal to i times delta t now the current that flows there in a1 is 2 amperes and the time we've been given in seconds to be 120 seconds so 2 multiplied by 120 that gives us 240 coulombs now 11.2 says how will the reading on ammeter a1 be affected if the 6 ohm resistor is removed from the circuit write only increase decrease or remain the same now if we remove this 6 ohm resistor here this is what we do we come here remove this so if we remove all of this we understand that even this will be removed so even the con uh, the, the the conductor that connects to that or the wire that connects to that will be removed so in other words we can see that we'll be adding this 3 ohm resistor to the series connection now what happens when we add this 3 ohm resistor here we can see that the total resistance will now increase since adding resistors in series increases the total resistance now if the total resistance increases according to this formula here if the total resistance increases what do we expect of the current since resistance and current are inversely proportional we expect the current to decrease so the answer for 11.2 is decrease now for 11.3 it says explain the answer to question 11.2 without any calculation so how do we explain that we say removing the 6 ohm resistor will increase the total resistance now resistance r is inversely proportional to current for a constant voltage so according to the formula here according to the formula r is equal to v over i we know that r is inversely proportional to current right for a constant voltage now an increase in total resistance we understand that it will result in a decrease in the total current and that's how you explain for three marks